was 21st June 2021. And of course, this month has been so devastating to Mother Zambia. We've lost great icons. We've lost so many people that are so dear to us. But one question still remains where we do come in to compare on how we've treated the legacies of those people that we've left and that have left us rather and those people that we hold so dear to our hearts. Are their legacies really been upheld even as they have gone? Do we celebrate them as much in this particular moment when they go? Do, do we feel that we've put in much effort in realizing their potentials and energies even as they were on this particular Earth. Of course, we've lost our great founder and first president, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, who did pass on on 17th June. And more people that we did look up to have passed on, likes of Levi uh, Sakala, the likes of just yesterday, Chief Justice Irene Mambilima. We've lost so many people who were holding Zambia with their hands to go on and still put it on the map and with all their efforts trying to utilize their energies for the betterment of Mother Zambia. But then have we realized the potentials that they were putting across? Have we celebrated them enough even as we are mourning them in this particular country? That is what we are discussing this particular evening on Blunt Talk, the fearless debate. And we're going to be as truthful as possible, realizing the efforts that we could put to mourn and celebrate this particular icons and celebrities that we've lost. When we get back in a minute, of course, we discuss more and such things. our icons enough are we celebrating our icons enough and of course with the sad news that we have experienced for the past days it is very important to put it into consideration the topic that we have at hand and discuss intensively with the discussions and topics that we do have I have two guests this particular evening and of course uh, we'll be joined in later by the third guest as time goes on but of course, uh, allow me to introduce Mr. Mputangalande, who is a governance activist to Blantok. Welcome to Blantok. Thank you very much for having me. All right. We also do have uh, Mr. Kelly Kalumba, the Youth Unite Zambia Operations Director. Welcome to Blantok. Thank you very much, comrade, for having me. It's my pleasure. All right. Great. Let's uh, get into the, the, the discussions, uh, gentlemen. Of course, we'll be joined in by our third guest. But... Let's quickly get into it because of time. Now, my first question to you two gentlemen, and of course, before I even start with the questions, allow me to give you my um, rules here on, on blunt talk. The first rule is that you have three minutes each to answer the questions that I'll be asking you on this particular platform. And of course, if you have a counter reaction to your particular panelist, you'll be able to answer it within the three minutes that you are given and not at that particular time. I hope that is very clear. Clear. All right. 
Now, does Zambia, the state government, and the citizens put enough effort in celebrating the life of our heroes? Let me start with you, Mr. Mputangalande. What are your thoughts? Uh, citizens uh, have not um, given, we have not celebrated our, our icons that much. Government, 50%. Uh, in terms of uh, celebrating our icons. I'm saying this because there are a lot of freedom fighters that we, 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 have, we have seen that were not recognized, that we have died like they, they never fought for this country's freedom. One of them is the man that stands on the freedom statue. Yeah, uh, 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 Mr. Breaking, Zankompundu. Yeah, breaking yeah. that chain. We all know that that man was neglected and uh, he died like a man... Uh, you know, every 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 symbol, uh, uh, the, the the coat of arms that man is there, and a lot of um, the things that uh, 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 give the identity to Zambia. He was there, and uh, so this is one. Uh, some other people. I feel um, uh, looking at the government, there are certain people that were given a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, recognition in terms of them being being uh, freedom fighters and like others. I don't know what criteria was used to determine that others were more superior freedom fighters and others were less superior freedom fighters in that sense. So in that sense, then I, uh, I would like to, to, to um, add, and one I'm giving the government 50-50. As citizens, I feel as young people, not all, a lot of us really understand the, uh, the uh, the issue of uh, why we should celebrate our icons, and uh, this and and this is uh, we can see by certain actions by some of us even making memes on Facebook mocking the 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 uh, at the founding fathers um, uh, 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 what um, uh, uh, funeral some some even go an extra mile of making dramatizing this uh, particular uh, funeral which should not be supposed to which should not be the case, as we are Africans. Mm. All right, but um, of course, uh, you, you, you've mentioned that uh, government, uh, you know, gives 50%, is it, uh, effort uh, into... Uh, yes, I'm giving yeah. government 50% effort in terms of uh, 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 recognize the, recognizing. recognizing these icons. Where have they gone wrong? I feel Where is the other 50%? The other 50%, I feel that there, there, there are a lot of examples that I can give, uh, 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 basically the, uh, uh, people that uh, said um, uh, were, that were freedom fighters that were uh, not uh, respected. And, and the easiest that would come to my mind is the one that I mentioned, the man that was, uh, I was standing on the freedom statue breaking that chain. Yeah. That man died without any support. That's where they their field. But these people that had big positions, these people that were ministers, some of them that were had were prominent had prominent names in this fight were right. recognized and they were given what is accorded to them. Mm. Your, your, your time your, your time is up, but I'll just love you to maybe finalize on what government would have done to you know Mr Mpundu Mtembo, Mr Zanko Zanko rather Mpundu Mutembo, who is the man on, on the freedom statue. What 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 would have government done? You know, to, to to show support. Is it financially? Yes, in mm -hmm. that sense, because if that if that man was given uh, that particular, we have seen social cash transfer. Uh, we could have created a platform where uh, these freedom fighters that uh, uh, would be getting a certain amount of amenities, maybe salary or a what. Because as we all know, he was poor and he died a poor man, and uh, he's one person that fought for. Uh, for this freedom. So it is high time that uh, the way they have done with these high prominent uh, freedom fighters, giving them offices, giving them uh, uh, amenities so that they, they live a, a very better life uh, 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 because they fought for this country, that, that we, we should give to everyone, right. even if their names were not prominent in this fight. All right. Thank you so much. Let's get to Mr. Kelly Kalumba, the Youth Unite Zambia Operations Director. Does Zambia, the state government and citizens, put enough effort in celebrating the life of our heroes? Thank you very much, Comrade. Uh, I think government has done a little. Uh, uh, my, my colleague has, has, has given the government 50%, but me, I'll go for 20%. I think uh, we have had uh, a lot of people 
yeah. uh, that have uh, that are heroines and heroes in different spheres. For example, we have people in the labor movement. We have people in the liberation struggle. We have people in the sports, the the academia, and whatnot. And uh, when we talk about honoring, it's not all about maybe people that are in the liberation movement, but also other spheres. Now. Government has done a little, a little bit of it. Maybe it's just about naming ro after the, these heroes and heroines after roads and uh, buildings, or maybe a bit of schools. But there is more that we can do. Uh, there is more that we can do. And uh, when we come to, to uh, let's say, the people that fought for freedom in this country, I think it's 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 uh, it's it's, a, it's time where. Uh, us as a citizen, we worked up. We, uh, also, we talk of uh, the media need also to rise up in terms of uh, documenting these people before they even uh, they die. Because uh, you know, it's not all about uh, trying to honour, but it's all so yeah. about. Well, 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 when you talk about media, let me just hold you there. When you talk about media, I think we can say 90% of media did document. Uh, you know, show that documentaries of, of KK that's uh, yeah, an but, hour after it was announced. But uh, one of us is b media, b movie, TV did, you know, have a KK remembered program at uh, around you know uh, 18 after the the, the news. Oh, co correctly, yeah. but when we talk of the media, it, 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 movie TV can be can do that. But what of other people? Because media is not only about uh, TV station. Media is about also we have the freelancers in this country. Yeah, we also have in print media in the magazines and whatnot. So uh, when we talk of the media, I think it's high time that they started, you know, uh, digging deeper in terms of uh, information ab uh, about all these heroes and heroines that we have, even in our current uh, time where we are living as at now. We, we, we need such kind of information because other medias were, were, were stagnant. They failed even where they didn't know even where to start. Some of them, they are imitating things that maybe South African media uh, is, uh, is putting across. Yeah. So uh, I think that's, that's uh, one way we can go into that. And also, uh, 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 we need to understand, first of all, uh, what these people uh, could be hero, I mean, heroes and heroines they have uh, contributed to this country. And yeah. if we understand, then we are able to, to, to honor them d through different ways. Uh, it's not all about uh, naming them after roads. And if we, and we can, we, can we, we, look, we take it even back to Lusaka. Lusaka, we have read that there is, a, there is a policy that is there by the council where they give, uh, you, you can right. pay but a certain exactly amount and then wind up you are named after a road, which yeah. means it is now jeopardizing the way that we have been honoring people. It, it has been it has jeopardized how we have uh, been honoring people. All right. So you, you you did mention something on media. Just again, uh, quickly on that one, uh, I, I did a, a research, and and you'd find that eighty percent of the media were quick to respond to you know the death of of, of KK in terms of reporting about it Correct. and having documentaries Correct. about it, and and uh, you know. Maybe you mean a fraction of, of, of the media, is, is, is that what you mean? Or, or maybe they, they could have done much more than what they did, that is reporting and having a documentary. Correct, oh, correct comrade. Uh, yeah. When we talk about uh, why am I consistent on the media, yeah. is that uh, it's high, for example, uh, movie TV maybe could be started maybe maybe not before when uh, that, but it's about also trying to record you know, getting those uh, footages, you know, and showing it, showing them to, to the people. You know, it, it's uh, getting them, maybe it could be other platforms, and showing us, uh, showing us. Because some media, they are just, you know, contemplating what others are doing. Yeah. So I think this is where we are, we, we, we are I'm very consistent that yeah. even media should be also, you know, stand together in terms of trying to keep and share this information to the other so that when we are in a such kind of a situation, we are able to, 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 to be on the same pace, speaking okay. the same language. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, let me get to Mr. Mputangalande, uh, who is a governance activist. Now, there's been a public outcry on how um, other countries have celebrated KK compared to Zambia. They have seen that there is a difference in how we've responded to celebrating the man who was the founding father and the first president of the Republic of Zambia. Is this true? Do you believe it is true that we haven't 
uh, really done enough compared to other countries like South Africa. That, that's what the public are saying. So it has been said that um, uh, a prophet is yeah. not uh, recognized where uh, the prophet comes from, and it is biblical. Now, uh, the biggest challenge I feel that we have as uh, Zambians and some sections of uh, uh, Africa is that we, do, we, we have not taught um, uh, our children about how to be patriotic and how to understand the culture and how, uh, why, what people, uh, the kind of people that we have in the society and why we hold them in high esteem and why we hold them dear. I think our education system teaches more about holding dear foreign uh, uh, characters, unlike uh, uh, local characters, and that's the very biggest problem. No wonder we're having young people mocking the mm. funeral of uh, a very uh, 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 garant man, where they, they, they are depi depicting the character of crying in the sense of mocking, which should, should not be the case if those uh, youths are very patriotic, which is... Um, so this is one thing that our education system, I feel, has yeah. not impacted and understood. I never met Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Kaunda uh, physically, but with what I've read and the impact that I've come to understand with the, the, a few uh, documents that I've read and understood the few <coughs> books that I've understood, it, it is one man that I cannot go and start mocking or make any meme uh, uh, depicting, uh, uh, depicting or mocking his funeral with uh, with the sense of how I understand and the impact that he made for even us to stand here and enjoy this freedom that we are enjoying. So the biggest challenge that we have that the, these people uh, or, or, or certain uh, 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 sections of society are not respecting and holding these people in high esteem, it is our education system that has not given um, uh, uh, pride or made these young youths or, or citizens have the highest caliber of understanding who our people are and uh, and the pride is the, uh, that is there and them being patriotic and that's the biggest thing even we are suffering even suffering a lot of uh, uh, economic crisis and a lot of challenges because we are not patriotic enough as uh, uh, citizens of this country and Africa at large. Mm. Compared to South Africa and, and how they did celebrate Mandela, do, do, do you, do you think know, yeah. the, a lot of the biggest generation of, of of South Africa because it was the last uh, a country to get independence. So a lot of the generation that is there has experienced how it was before independence came and they respect people that made them have that freedom that they're enjoying now. But a lot of us were born when this country was already free and we have not experienced and the, a larger aspect of that generation has not experienced uh, 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 the brutality of colonialism, the brutality that came with colonialism. And no wonder we are very reluctant in, in celebrating people that made it possible for us to, uh, to have this freedom that we are enjoying. So mm. South, South Africans understand that this, this man made it possible for us to enjoy what we are enjoying today. No wonder they, they are holding, it, they are holding uh, 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 it in high esteem and it seems like it is their funeral, not our funeral. Mm. All right. Now, uh, let me throw it to you, Mr. Kelly Kalumba, uh, Operations Director of YUZ. Same question with you. Um, with the public outcry, well, we haven't celebrated KK enough as Zambians, but other countries... Uh, you know, celebrating him much more than we are. What is is this true in 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 your in your lens? Okay, uh, thank you, moderator. Uh, yeah, it could be like that, uh, as my colleague has said. You know, uh, first and foremost, and I'm insisting, uh, it's high time as, as as young people took history uh, by force in terms of understanding. Uh, even how we came up to be as independent as we are today. So uh, other countries could do that because they saw how this man was so helpful. As my colleague has said, that these people uh, were even seeing how uh, Kaunda was very critical in terms of uh, liberating the, uh, the people of South Africa and maybe the South Africa to get in, in, in independence. Uh, we saw when uh, uh, President Kaunda was uh, was uh, insisting that to, to the m almost maybe three prime ministers until uh, the, the, uh, Mandela was released. So, uh, which is coming back now to us as uh, as, 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 as Zambia, mm -hmm. we need to understand how 
we got this independence. And we need to understand what, why is it an, in, in, an important uh, uh, thing to have as a country. Because if we are not understanding, and this is where now we are consistent on the, on the for example, like uh, other stakeholders. For example, the, 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 the historians in terms of these learning institutions. What are they teaching us? What have they taught us uh, when we are in schools? Because when we come like, like, like in this situation and everyone has gone to a different mood because we are being driven by maybe social media, uh, we have already been taken away. Even when we are in such kind of a situation, we are failing to respond because we, are, we, 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 we want to, to, to follow something that is not even you know, uh, workable or something which is uh, not even helping to, 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 to the welfare of this country. So it, it, it's a, it's a, it, I would say, yes, as people and as young people, I think it's high time that we rose and we realized how important some of these figures are in our societies. It's not only uh, Dr. Kaunda, it could be the Mama Kankasas, it could be the Karusha warriors of these days. We need to understand how they did and how, 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 how they, 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 they influenced in terms of that. We look at, when we look at the labor movements, the, the Chilubas, we need to understand that. And it's high time that we, us as young people, went into in terms of research, researched about these people, try to tap into that knowledge that they have. Because uh, when we lose them, mostly they will go with that knowledge. Thank you. Hmm. All right, uh, you, you have eight seconds, but let, let's get to the next question because uh, quite a lot and time is really not our best ally. Um, what should be done? Because you, you, you guys have mentioned, you, you've mentioned of how, you know, uh, there's so much progress that needs to be done with right. regards to appreciating our leaders. Now, what should be done to ensure that we show appreciation to our national icons before and after they pass on? Mr. Mputangaland. So, for, for me, I feel, um, first of all, we must inculcate uh, a mind of patriotism in terms of respecting icons that we have. He mentioned Karusha Bwari. Hmm. Karusha, Bwari, uh, uh, Karusha Bwari is one uh, soccer player that is respected, more respected, even uh, uh, in Zambia is less respected compared to Europe, the way he's respected. Mention his name in some of these countries, like um, uh, are the articles that I've read, and people, the way they respect that man in, in different countries, you'll be amazed. Uh, so I feel we, we, we have not taught, uh, we have not taught our, our young people about what makes us Zambia and what is important and what figures that, that took this flag up there and made sure that Zambia is known to the world. Mm. And immediately we get these young people, we get us young people. For example, me, I know a lot of these things because I was interested and I took time to understand and, and learn about these issues uh, firsthand because I wanted to understand the history so that I become a very relevant and, and very responsible young person in this country and, and, and bring about impactful uh, change in this society. But the biggest challenge that is there is that we, our education system, we, we, the history that we learn is the history that is not depicting patriotism to this country, but it is talking about other characters, foreign characters. No wonder a lot of young people would rather respect foreign characters than respect local characters and, uh, and these heroes that have brought uh, 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 this country where it is right now. And it's the biggest challenge. So what the first thing that we must do is that we need a cultural revolution in this country, a cultural revolution that will start by uh, uh, making sure that our young people understand the principles and, and um, uh, the principles that hold this country together, the morals that hold this country together. Uh, so it is a lot of things. Young people must be able to sing the national anthem from beginning to end, must be able to understand what Z one Zambia, one nation means and where it comes from. And that is, and that is uh, uh, where we can start from. So the education system, for me, the education system in terms of uh, civic education, history, these the history that we must learn is history about them, Zambia, from the young, uh, the young, younger age to uh, grade one uh, uh, until grade seven. History must be introduced and make sure that that history that they are going to learn in those grades uh, is history about Zambia only. 
before we move out and start learning about Africa or any other outside um, uh, uh, the country. Each country, China, uh, the, 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 the cultural uh, uh, revolution by the uh, Chairman Mao, immediately people understand where they come from and understand and become patriotic. Then any challenge that we face as, as a country, it will be easy to do. Because Kaunda understood about what, is that, what made Zambia, and there's a Zambia that he wanted, and everything that he did, everything that he did, forcing young people to go and do, um, uh, uh, to go to ZDNS and learn and do these crafts and whatever, he was looking at what, what Zambia he wanted. The humanism ideology, if you look at it, he was creating a Zambia that he thought um, uh, there's a Zambianism in that ideology that he wanted to preach. And young, young people that grew up in that era, or old people that grew up in that era, you understand that they hold what is called Zambia of then very dear. And mm. this is why we, where we lost it now. And no wonder it is very difficult for us to even give respect to these icons, as young people more especially. Mm. Now, what, what else apart from tackling the education system, what, what, what else could we do? For, for, for me, that is the, the only solution. And then the, mm. uh, these other things will follow uh, <coughs> itself. Naming people, like he said, naming things and whatever. Yeah, David Kaunda Airport, Levi Mwanawans and whatever. Those are just names. But immediately... So if a child knows that there is a Levi Mwanawansa uh, hospital, what do, do they have the background information or, or the child does, just knows there is a Levi Mwanawansa hospital and that's all, it ends there. But immediately someone mentions Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, immediately someone mentions the Tabo Mbeki uh, Road as I was coming, we were using Tabo, Tabo Mbeki Road. Immediately someone mentioned Tabo Mbeki Road, I understood, oh, Tabo Mbeki, this road is given to the, is the second uh, 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 president. And this president, and this president Tabo Beki came here in Zambia and uh, was, um, was, um, uh, was given refuge here in Zambia because in South Africa when they were fighting apartheid, the NCC could not survive there. He was here and the one that they honored him and gave, him, gave the name of Tambo Beki to this road. Right. I understand that history because I've taken interest, but if someone hears the name of Tambo Beki, do they know that who is Tambo Beki? All right, thank and you so much. what relevance that... he has in Africa. Yeah, let me, uh, let me throw it to uh, Mr. Kelly Kalumba. Um, same question with you, all right? What um, should we do to ensure that we show appreciation to our heroes before they die and after they pass on? Thank you very much, uh, com Comrade Moderator. Yeah. I think uh, uh, m mostly uh, some have been mentioned by my colleague. Yeah. But uh, uh, mo it's not all about what we should do, but it's also about what are we going to do after these people, maybe where they reach where they are. Yeah. In terms of uh, the leadership of uh, David Kaunda, do we have such kind of people that can continue with that spirit in terms of uh, his ideologies? When we look at him, the things that he fought for, where he stood, he was a person that we need to learn from as young people, even as a general citizenry at large. When we look at the time he was very consistent and critical on fighting apartheid, this is the person that was not backing down. He was going, he was forging ahead. Even when we look at how he wanted our Zambian, you know, Zambian to be, to be, to, everything to be driven by Zambians, we saw how the economy was going. We saw how companies had to be, uh, to, 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 you know, to be, to be mushroomed. They came, like, like we had, I don't know if it's about 300, 235, I stand to be corrected. You know, this is the heart that we want, even as politicians that are aspiring as at now, to have that, co that, that, you know, that view of not backing down, not with a view of maybe trying to, 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 to focus on material things, but trying to better the society of, of the people. If we look at maybe uh, in the law, in the, uh, the, the, the way, or the footstep of maybe the late uh, Chief Justice, we need to have such kind of a caliber many lawyers who are women who can stand up where they, where, where they are they, from their comfort zone to go and pursue, pursue such kind of, uh, of, of, of encounters to move ahead. Even when we look at uh, 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 
also the media as well. We need to start now trying to document this information, selling it not when a person has passed on, but when even they are still alive. We have to be seeing these uh, document, documentaries on, on our, um, our media uh, uh, platforms. We need to see this in, even on Movie TV, or ZNBC, uh, Diamond TV, and so on. We need these people to be publicized. They have to be there. We, 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 we need also to see in newspapers, articles about these people, because what we need is this information to be there, not when we are, in, when you are asked and, that, and then you, you, you don't have even anything to say. When we come to, 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 to maybe people that are not, not influential in the politi in political uh, arena, when you look over uh, maybe in, in the labor movement, in the civil society and whatnot. Yeah, quickly, yeah. We, we need to have such kind of caliber of people that are, uh, 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 are there to, 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 you know, to spearhead where these hero, heroes and heroines ended from. When you look at the academia, the academia also needs to step up and try to, to, to give this research. Also, we need to see our young people giving these tasks to go and research and also present in various institutions where they are. Because this information is in as much as they want to, 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 to use it, maybe to pass. But we need that information to be in there, in their minds, so that they feel to be part and parcel of Zambia. They know the history. Even when they go outside the country, they cannot only explain about only luxurious places, yeah. but they can explain about our heroes and heroines who have done a lot for, uh, about, for, for, for this country in a different way. All right. Now, l l let me throw it back to you, Mr. Kalumba. Why is it that, in comparison, all right, you'd find that most uh, government officials are celebrated more than freedom fighters or other icons that, you know, um, have really made an impact out there? So, uh, it is coming back again mm. to, to when you look at the past uh, generation or where we are coming from. For example, in our education system, as my colleague said, yeah. We have not been taught, you know, not fully backed uh, information. We only, in grade one, maybe up to grade five, we only see people, uh, uh, maybe a short paragraph, maybe about Kaunda, maybe a short paragraph about uh, 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 the Julia Chika Monikans, yeah. a short paragraph about uh, Dr. Frederick Chiluba, how he, fought, he, 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 he managed, you know, to, 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 to establish uh, and fought for, for, for the multi-party democracy system in this country. Yeah. So we need full information and also we need uh, these people to be identified. And it's high time that when we look at the, the, these uh, organizations and institutions that are responsible in terms of reserve the, uh, reserving the history of this country, like the museum, the archives, and also, uh, also just uh, the historians. It's high time that we started, you know, come out, make these offices to be open so that people are, can go there and access this information and know what is, uh, is all about Zambia. We need also... Uh, to, 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 to look at uh, us as a general citizen, to take keen interest in terms of understanding and also knowing what these people did. Because if we know and we're able to appreciate, and it's coming back to us to appreciate for what these people did for us. Because if we are not appreciating, then we are like covering what these people did. All right. Uh, you, you have a few seconds uh, more to go, but, uh, you know, I would want us to, to compare the efforts that are put in, 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 in you know, in situations when, for example, um, I would give a very good example of uh, Mr. Zanko, the, the man who, uh, you know, did we refer to in the earlier questions, Great. who did not... Though he wasn't given much cognition. Even when he, he passed on, there was no much cognition uh, from him. But this is one person who we've made a statue, you know, uh, for <coughs> we always see him every single time we're getting to the central business district. And he did play a very significant role in, you know, uh, trying to liberate us in the times of uh, 1960s. Uh, but but, but if, 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 you, if you compare the type of you know, funeral he was given, it's, it's not something that you can 
compared to a government official? And this is why I'm asking you the, this type of question. It's unfortunate that uh, everything would want to, to so just... just in, in 30 seconds, uh, uh, Everything we just want to refer to, or maybe to work according to what the Constitution says. Mm. But some things, there are moral issues. Uh, we know that uh, departmental officials, maybe in specific that uh, 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 district, uh, you know, it, it, it was... Uh, mm -hmm. They, they didn't pay attention to that. And this is a challenge. I'm challenging all the departmental uh, officials in this saving, for example, who are in uh, the archives of Zambia, yeah. the, the, the Heritage Commission. It's high time they, they had to hop up their game and also try to try to, to, to dig deeper in terms of trying to identify these people and bring them to light. Because if we are, we, we, these people are, are, are not giving these people attention, then we are not, there's nowhere to go. Yes, we can complain and complain, but I think we need to, uh, to be on the side of what's the way forward. Yeah. Uh, yes, we, we have to learn on something on what happened. The government didn't pay much attention, but if we look at the government, the government is the people that are working that side, it's the officials. It's not about somebody who is here, but it's about people who are there to, to, to pressurize the commission to say we need this person and it needs to be, to, be, to, to, be, to be notified. And now I'm also challenging the creative industry. This is where we need now to see where uh, cartoons, we need to see movies t being crafted among us. Uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the creative industry, they, can need, they, they need to go and tap in into that because it's also an opportunity for them. So it's, it's also uh, a challenge to them. They need to up up their game. Yeah. and try to, 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 to use and take advantage of this information that has been, uh, been covered by maybe the government or right. the state or maybe communities. All right. Thank you so much. Mr. Mputangalande, um, <coughs> why is the situation like that on the ground? The situation is like that on the ground, like I said earlier, is that uh, we are forgetting, you know, as a country moves, there are certain things that happen and, they are, and we keep moving and forgetting them. And that shouldn't be the case. Each community should learn from their history and their culture. Yeah. And, and they, there's a lot of history that I, I was not taught in school that I'm very disappointed when I learn about that history as I learn, uh, as, as I take in interest and learn about that history. And I get, I get very disappointed that I was not taught in, in school. So, at at the same particular uh, 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 point, I came across one article that made me look at Lusaka a very different uh, 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 way. So yeah. I was thinking, why is, wasn't it possible that this, this uh, uh, education that I've gotten here, this, from reading this article, why didn't they put it into our curriculum so that young people, as they learn, as they move, they should understand that this is how, uh, uh, this is how Lusaka was brought about. But there's nothing like, uh, like that now. How, do young people become patriotic in that sense and, and, and make sure that they hold dear what, uh, 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 and have respect of everything that, uh, that they see. It becomes difficult. No wonder we take, uh, we take things for granted because we do not understand where we come from. And every society that does not understand where they come from, it is like this. We, we, uh, uh, we miss it. And we become maybe, we, it is only a phase now we celebrate this man because he's dead and when he's buried we'll forget about everything and then move forward like that without even uh, according uh, uh, and teaching our children that will be coming. And 50 years from now maybe he will be one person that will be forgotten. But there are, there are certain individuals in certain countries that have not been forgotten. Ask a Chinese person about Chairman Mao Zedong that died about, about 40 years ago and they will tell you who is Mao Zedong is. And you will be very surprised because it is in their curriculum. And the first thing that the child learns is the tradition of their, their country, the culture of their country. No wonder even now, even Africa, they are coming into Africa and the Confucius uh, uh, institutions that we have in in these universities, they are teaching their culture there, right? Yeah. So our children will know about the Chinese culture, not our culture, which is very wrong. No, and, and that is the way that they, they are, uh, and now we are calling it again, they are uh, colonizing us again. Yeah. But, but also, because we are, learning, we are learning things that are foreign in the actual sense. Yeah. And but, but, it becomes difficult. No wonder who, who, 
we'll talk about respecting and celebrating our heroes and, and mm. whatever. But right. as long as we can learn about that, then it Now, th th there's been so much uh, social media campaign on trying to have Kenneth Kaunda Day. Would you agree? You've got six seconds. Kenneth Kaunda Day, yes. Probably because it will stand the test of time, and because it will stand the test of time, everyone will be forced to learn on that particular day what Kaunda was and why we celebrate it. All right, so, uh, let me throw it back to you again. How best can we respect and mourn icons in this particular electoral period, realizing that we are heading towards the elections, but how best can we uh, mourn our icons, and the, the people that we've looked up to in this particular uh, you know, campaign period and electoral period. If we look at Kaunda, he was a man that wanted peace. Mm. And, and, and I would, I would love to ask the technicians to keep the, the time running. Uh, yeah. He was a man that advocated for peace and everything that he did in his leadership was one thing that uh, well, uh, uh, I wanted peace more than anything else. And as, 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 as we campaign, as we do what, let's make sure that we do not have uh, 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 violence as we do this, uh, as we mourn our, our leader. And to the young people out there, yeah. let's avoid making memes out of this situation. Let's avoid mocking uh, a, a, a mockery as we, we, people, uh, as we say and, and depict of saying we are crying or we are mourning. There's no, there's no jokes. As Africans, we don't joke with funerals. And yeah. let's make sure that we do not joke with this funeral. And that is the, let's send this man with the respect that is accorded. Mm. All right. Uh, is, uh, well, of course, we, we did uh, see the UPND president suspend campaigns, even though today it was announced that they have resumed campaigning. But are such actions really weighing the respect that we do have for our, our icons? It, 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 is in their, it is in their moral capacity, but uh, yes, this man is dead and it must be uh, business as usual, but there are certain things that we can put on hold and, mm. and, and wait. So yes, they are in their uh, 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 own right to do that, their morals tell, tell them that, and it is very possible. Let them do what they do as long as they do it in peace. For me, the only cardinal thing is peace so that we make sure that we respect you believe it is still right to campaign in this particular time when we are mourning our first founding father and first president? I don't think it is right. Hmm. From, from my, uh, my own capacity, it is a morally wrong. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mr. Kalumba, uh, same question with you. How do we celebrate and mourn our icons in this particular electoral period? Uh, I think it's a uh, high time that we need to sit uh, reflects on the death and how important these people were and especially that uh, we have been given 21 days which uh, people like uh, students, pupils, even uh, the citizen are at large, we need to focus and also learn more on what uh, this man did, yeah. uh, his works. Uh, I think we need to take advantage of that and also, we, 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 we need to continue just uh, the, to stay united. Uh, opportunity that uh, has come that uh, we also need to, to sit and try to reflect on even the issues and how are we going to, where can we start from? For example, we are, we are getting towards the election and we know that this uh, icon who have left us, uh, this statesman, uh, was uh, known for one Zambia, one nation. Mm. And I think he's uh, a person that was, uh, uh, was, was not entertaining tribalism. He was there and he, he made sure that all Zambia were united and in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of uh, getting the independence, they came together and until they achieved what they, they wanted and also assisted other countries that were still in liberation of wars with uh, liberation of war with other uh, with uh, the, 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 the colonial masters so I think it's high time that we need to sit down and see to learn more their philosophy of, uh, of, 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 uh, of way of thinking how they, they managed to, 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 to lead this country and uh, how they, they, they maintained until where the Zambia we have which is so peaceful and we just need to continue with the peace that is there that this person left and we need to start from there where he left 
to continue and uh, even even though we, are, we 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 have a lot of expectations uh, about or maybe people are changing goalpost about the decision that they made but it's about uh, it, it's a moral thing that we we, 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 we we looked at this. I know most people want to be uh, be pushed unless the constitution says so, unless the institution says so, unless there is an act of parliament. But I think it's high time that we we we, 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 we just became Zambia Zambians, you know, at heart and and, and see the way forward for this country. Hmm. Well, would would you would you agree to still having campaigns even as we are mourning our icons? I think, uh, as my colleague said, I think uh, we, this is where now we need to, 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 to be more, uh, uh, to have, uh, to be more, uh, more considerate yeah. and try to uh, introspect uh, when we are making some of the decisions. Uh, because this period, of, uh, 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 as I have said, that is the best period to learn. Because even in these political parties, there are people who are there following without even information about uh, about, about uh, uh, KK, and which is a very important and a, an opportunity for them to oh. have this this history in, in, in them. And it's it's a it's a moral thing. It's up to them if if they want. But I think we need to be more Zambian, and we need to have this information so that we can even share with others the, the coming generation and even would, outside the country. Would you agree to a Kenneth Kaunda day? Yes, yes, I, I, I agree. I agree. It's, it, it would be very important so that we keep on learning on, mm. uh, and also trying to, to, to foster what, where he ended in terms of his style of leadership. All right. So now for the last series of questions, I'm going to just give you two minutes each. And I hope that uh, timekeepers are noticing that. Two minutes each for the last two uh, questions that I have for you. Going to you, Mr. Mputangalande, is it necessary to compare and, uh, of course, you know, contrast on how we have really treated our icons from different countries. Is it really necessary to compare that particular aspect? If you talk about the KK, the Mandela, you know, Martin Luther King, is, is it really necessary to compare and then say, no, we, these guys, the, these countries rather did, you know, celebrate this particular icon more than we have celebrated, so we haven't really respected much. Is, is, is that necessary? In in the moral capacity, it mm. is necessary that we, uh, we celebrate our icons, and that's the most cardinal thing. But the saying we celebrated more, celebrated less, that, that, is not, uh, uh, that is, does not hold weight. But the most important thing is that we must celebrate, um, uh, uh, oh, we must, uh, celebrate these uh, 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 icons and heroes in our countries. And that's a very basic thing and a very important thing that we, uh, that we must understand. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 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 that Dr. Kakaunda did a lot of things. One selfish, he's a, the, the most selfless president mm. that this country has, uh, has ever had. Yes, he was not 100% uh, 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 um, uh, correct all the time. He made a lot of mistakes, but a lot to a larger extent if what way his mistakes and what he achieved in bringing this country and making it a united country you see that uh, 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 what he did was, was recommendable and those were hard decisions that needed to push this country to where it is right now. And in terms of, uh, yeah. uh, uh, in terms of respect, is one leader that we must respect by any means necessary. How are you going to remember his legacy? I'm going to remember his legacy that he's the only president that understood that for this country to move forward, we needed... We needed education, we needed craft, uh, 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 crafts, and we needed industries. And he is the only president that respected industries to be owned by Zambians. Mm. He has never missed it, and that is one thing that will develop this country, and that is one direction that we must, we must all head to. Yeah. What else? That's all? Uh, for, for me, that is uh, the most cardinal thing uh, mm. that he gave us. All right. Uh, let's, let's get to Mr. Kelly Kalumba uh, from Youth Unite Zambia, the operations director. Is it necessary to compare the treatment that we give our icons from different countries? Uh, first and foremost, the uh, moderator, we need to understand uh, these people, mm. they fought almost the same battle. And I feel uh, in terms of cherishing them, they need to be cher cherished as they were. Uh, together, because yeah. uh, you can't mention uh, uh, the Julius uh, 
Nyerere without the the the, the, the Kaundas. You can't mention the the, the, the Tabombekis without the Mandelas. You can't mention the Mandelas without the Kaundas. So I feel um, in in the in our region as 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 as, as uh, maybe southern region, yeah. I, I think we need to understand that these people they they they, they, they had to 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 play a major role in terms of us uh, getting liberated, and I feel we need to celebrate them and we need to cherish them uh, uh, in the same way. If it's about preserving, we need to, to to preserve them because these people were together, they were united. But how can we us celebrate them differently? So uh, I think that's that, that's the most important thing we need to understand it because these men were together in terms of when they are, when when they are uh, they were fighting for reparation of, yeah. of, 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 of this uh, of this uh, southern land what yeah well, what legacy are you going to remember kk uh, KK, I, I remember him, uh, you know, he, he was a champion in terms of uh, epidemics, like in terms of uh, HIV and AIDS. Mm. And uh, he, sh he showed that after, even after leadership, he, still, he was, was still uh, uh, providing service to, 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 the, uh, to, to the country and he was, still, he was still there. Despite his old age, he was there, you know, trying to advocate for HIV and AIDS. Well, even when we look at um, how he, he, he was very critical in terms of uh, liberation of uh, the southern Rhodesia, which is South Africa, uh, 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 we need to remember him. And this is also I'm challenging to even our brothers in other countries uh, who are watching that uh, the issue of xenophobia, I think th we were together and we don't want to see this continuing because these people fought for the liberation right. together. And even when you look at uh, his uh, style of leadership, uh, which was, uh, he, he was a president who came out of... Uh, 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 of power, maybe with uh, not more than uh, a lot, uh, what he earned. Mm. Uh, All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, gentlemen, I really appreciate you coming to Blunt Talk, the fearless debate. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much for having us. Monica. All right. Indeed, our two guests this particular evening, we did have Mputangalande, the governance activist, and we also did have Kelly Kalumba, the Youth Unite Zambia Operations Director, discussing whether we do celebrate our icons enough as a country. And of course, even as we are mourning our icons and people that we do celebrate, we pray and just hope that may their souls rest in peace. And as Zambians, we shall unite together at the, this particular time when, um, you know, the legacy that they've left needs to be upheld strongly. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate my directors, Mr. Christopher Mvula and Mr. Obvious. I appreciate uh, you and uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. We are back next week at 20 hours. My name is Chisha Chola. Give us. This is Zambia, the home of Copa. Zambia, is the nation. Yeah, yeah. Shiva. out.